Hello everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Now we are starting our second session, that is practical session. Now I request our resource person, Dr. Pankaj Sitya, sir, to start the session. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hello, participants. Mm. So. Uh, actually, it's very <laughs> difficult to conduct uh, online practical that to by informatics because you will be looking at the screen and simultaneously you will have to do your experiment also. Yes. So, still I will try to explain some basic and I will not take much time. I will give you after say half an hour or 45 minutes, uh, I will give you some assignments so that you can you people can solve. Okay? <clears throat> so, I have shared one link in the WhatsApp group. You can access. So I will share in the chat box also. I have sent the link to the chat box also, sir. Okay. First, we'll do this practical, okay? I will show you the steps. You can note down the steps later on also you can follow. Otherwise, you may find it difficult to do it simultaneously. So, I will share the screen now. So I have shared you this link. If you open this, you will get uh, this particular uh, gene sequence. Okay. This is a part particular DNA sequence uh, from rice, and this is RBCL gene sequence. We know it. Suppose <coughs> we do not know what gene it is. Okay, or what are the similar sequences available in gene bed. We can use BLAST tool to find out similar sequences which are available in the nucleotide sequence databases. Suppose I have copied only this portion of the sequence and I have kept it in a notepad file. This is my sequence. No information is available, what gene it is, what DNA it is, whether it is a coding gene or a non-coding gene, whether it is from a plant or a, an animal or a bacteria, this information are not available. So in such case, we can take help of BLAST tool to find out what kind of DNA sequence it is. So here you can see in the notepad file, no sequence information is given. So, excuse me, there is one emergency phone. I'll have to take it. Passing. Yeah. Ah, hello. Ah, ah, ah. I'm in an online meeting now. Ah, I'm in an online meeting Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah. Okay, so in Google you can open, you can search BLAST, 
NCBI Blast homepage will come. Blast Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. You can open this homepage from NCBI. like this so this diagram i showed you in the morning like the different types of blast nucleotide blast protein blast blast x t blast 10 etc now suppose you want to know what kind of dna sequence it is you can go for nucleotide blast so in such case this was our query sequence we want to identify or we want to find out similar sequences in the database. So I'll copy this sequence, DNA sequence. Then I'll open nucleotide blast. Okay. So here I already showed it to you. Here you will have to paste your query sequence or you can uh, upload the sequence file also by clicking choose file or you can type if you know the accession number like here we already know this is the accession number of this particular dna sequence if you can put the accession number also or you can directly paste the raw sequence like this so i have pasted the dna sequence here without specifying the organism or without specifying the gene okay or the yeah so now we have the query sequence with us and we'll have to select the database okay the software the blast server will search in different databases and it will try to align this particular query sequence to the sequences available in the database and it will calculate some score it will be local alignment not smith water alignment uh, smith waterman al algorithm but using blast algorithm it will perform local alignment and it will search for similar sequences available in the database so what database will select nucleotide collection you can select so it will include all the nucleotide sequences non redundant nucleotide sequences then without changing anything we can click blast we'll get the result after say 20 30 seconds it gets refreshed automatically the window gets refreshed automatically So let's wait for the result. Okay. So this is the blast result phase. We submitted 676 nucleotides or base pairs in the uh, as query sequence. And it was a DNA sequence because it was made up of ATGCs. Okay and we perform blast n nucleotide blast program and we can see our sequence is having 100 percent similarity with different oriza species like oriza sativa these two entries oriza sativa voucher species and oriza nevada also 100 percent identity that means this particular RBCL gene, okay, with different Oriza species, even with Oriza rufipogon, it's a weed which grows in swampy areas. With Oriza rufipogon, also it has got 99.85% similarity. It is the identity level 
for the person identity with horizon sativa it is 100% identity okay and with horizon nevada also it is 100% identity now <clears throat> here few things we need to check here e value is zero what does e value mean okay e value is zero here E value is also known as expect value. How to interpret this result? In a blast result, now from this blast result, can we say that this query sequence, which we take, which we have taken for blast analysis, can we call it as Oriza Setaida RBCL gene sequence? Total score is one to four nine here one to four seven because query coverage is a bit less and score is gradually decreasing. You can see. So here E value is zero. Here throughout E value you will find zero. Okay. Now. Scores are calculated, and since here the entire length of query sequence is not not covered, one percent of the query sequence is not matching, or those that portion is not available in the database for this second sequence. It is showing ninety nine nine percent query coverage, so score is also decreasing. Otherwise, identity is hundred percent. Okay. So I'll explain this to you. Let's go to the graphic summary. Here you can see this is the query sequence, graphical representation. This somewhat green or blue color thing uh, line. This indicates the query DNA sequence, and these are the sequence. Red colored ones are the sequences from the database. Which are similar to our sequence. This is the first sequence. If you bring the mouse mouse pointer above this red line, you will see this is Oriza sativa voucher specimen, with which it has got 100% similarity as well as 100% query coverage. However, with the second sequence, 100% similarity is there, but you can see there is the second sequence is a bit. Shorter in the left hand side, there is one indentation. It is more towards right. Some portion is not covered. It is not very distinct because uh, this uh, the difference is only one percent. Okay. Now, if we see the alignment from here, okay, alignments. If we see. we can see this is the query sequence okay the sequence we submitted and this is the database sequence with which it has got similarity c which matching with c a is matching with a c is c is matching with c so out of all 676 nucleotides that we submitted all 676 are matching with database sequence okay and the sequence which we submitted was plus strand or the sen strand and it is matching with the plus strand of the database sequence or the sen strand of the database sequence you can submit the complementary strand also so then it will say minus plus okay that means our query sequence was the minus sequence which is matching with the plus sequence of the uh, database so like this now here there is one important parameter to check that is expect value that is here you will find zero so i'll i'll try to explain expect value a bit it is also known as e value expect value or e value so let's see Now suppose uh, we 
we take only three nucleotides as our query sequence and these three nucleotides are ATG okay so if you perform blast in uh, the nucleotide sequence database different DNA sequences are available and we know ATZ is the universal start coder means most of the genes you will find ATZ as the start codon. There are a few exceptions, but in most of the genes, you will find ATZ as the start codon. So, if you perf take this sequence as a, a short sequence, as a query sequence, and you perform BLAST, this ATZ will match 100% with ATZ present in the database different genes okay suppose this ATG you took from Oraja Sativa it's from Oraja Sativa now it may match with this ATG may 100% match with one gene from Homo sapiens It may show 100% identity with one gene from E. coli. It may show 100% identity with one gene from, suppose, agaricus. Okay? So, identity is 100%. But, based on that 100% identity, can we say that this ATZ DNA sequence is from Homo sapiens or can we say that this ATG is from Agaricus or this ATG is from E. coli because we know originally we take this ATG from Oraja Sativa now but it is showing 100% match with Homo sapiens one of the Homo sapiens gene also 100% identity so, score will also be good because identity is 100%. But, in such case, you will find E value is also high. Expect value will also be high. Expect value or E value indicates that what is the probability that Without having any significant sequence similarity, okay, without having any significant similarity, we are getting this our query sequence as 100% identity to one of the database sequence, 100% identity. What is the probability that we are obtaining this alignment just by chance without having any significant phylogenetic relationship. Okay, so this E value indicates that the probability of occurring an alignment just by chance without having any significant phylogenetic relationship. So, if that probability increases, okay, that means probability of occurring that by chance also increases. That means here in this sequence, if we see now if we look into this alignment this query sequence and this database sequence the probability of occurring this alignment by chance is zero that means they are actually having some phylogenetic relationship 
okay that means we can say that our query sequence if we assume that this is from oryza sativa and it is rbcl gene that assumption is also significant okay so this is a very important thing so lowest e value e value zero means the alignment is highly significant and e value may go up it may be one or sometimes even it may go up to uh, higher it is not exactly th the probability but it may go up to uh, 10 15 also so that indicates that although sequences have been aligned but there is high probability that we got this alignment just by chance without having any significant phylogenetic relationship is this thing clear this uh, uh, e value thing i hope it is clear now so this you can try uh, running one blast i have already given you this link so you can copy a portion of this dna okay like this by selecting you can copy and you can open blast home page by searching blast okay in google then you can go to nucleotide blast you can paste your query sequence here and you can by default database will be nucleotide collection you can simply click blast and you will get this result okay you will get this result now I will show you another type of blast that is blast X. Suppose you want to know what kind of protein does this code for? Does this DNA sequence code for? So I have copied this DNA sequence. Then you can paste it here. Okay. So this is our query sequence. Remember, this is a DNA sequence. Now, by default, you will see database comes non-redundant protein sequence database. That means the sequence that we have submitted as query sequence, that will be virtually translated to a protein sequence. You know the codon table. There are 61 codons which code for 20 amino acids. And there are three stop codons. So, there is a codon table like ATG codes for methionine. Okay? Like there, this uh, codon table is there in any biochemistry book, it is available. So, using that codon table, this sequence will be translated in all the six frames. Then, those product, uh, uh, virtually translated protein products, will be blasted against protein sequence databases and similar proteins will be shown. So if we perform blast now, it will show us what kind of, with what kind of protein this gene has got similarity or uh, what kind of protein this gene may code for. So this result has come. We submitted 676 nucleotide long and we performed blast X. Okay. Uh, last time it was blast N. Now if you see, it is again ribulose, bisphosphate, carboxylase, oxygenase, large subunit from Oryza sativa. So it, it is a protein from Oryza sativa, that is the Rubisco protein. And if you see the alignment, See, we submitted a DNA sequence as the query sequence. But here, you can see we submitted this sequence, which was made up of C, A, C, 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 like this. 
but here you will find some other alphabets h p q in the query because these are amino acids h stands for histidine p stands for proline q stands for glutamine t st stands for threonine e stands for glutamic acid k stands for lysine like this so this is the virtually translated protein sequence okay and it is having similarity with this particular protein sequence available in the database okay and this sequence the query sequence got translated in frame 1 okay frame 1 now i'll do one more thing same thing i'll repeat okay i'll repeat same thing i'll click edit search and from the query sequence i'll delete the first nucleotide only one nucleotide i'll delete this one this c i'll delete then i'll perform blast again now let's see the result so this time you can see sorry i performed last n i should have performed this one i'll again perform blast x by deleting the first nucleotide this one then i'll perform blast then you can see the result you can try this practical so now also you can see same result almost we deleted only one but now this is showing frame 3 okay this is showing frame 3 and e value 3e minus 151 or here you can see e value 5e minus 152 what is this that also we should know what is this whether it is smaller than 0 or greater than 0 or what is the value suppose here the value was e value was e equal to 5e minus 152 which is actually equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 152 which is equal to 5 divided by 10 to the power 152 which is equal to 5 divided by 10 152 zeros okay total 152 zeros or which is equal to 0.000000 total 151 zeros and finally 15 so which is a very small number okay zero point this much so which is a very small number that means this alignment is also significant it is near to zero a very small number so in this way you can see in which frame your gene sequence will get translated or when you have a raw dna sequence from where one gene will start or how the gene will get translated into protein to study that you can take help of blast x then i'll show you the just the reverse thing 
Suppose we have taken the protein sequence now. This is the protein sequence. From the database, we are taking this protein sequence. So I'll change the display settings to FASTA. I'll copy a portion of this protein. These are the amino acids, okay? So I have copied a portion. Now this time, I'll perform BLAST. I'll perform T blast N. And we want to know what is the gene that it has coded, this particular protein. So this time our query sequence is a protein sequence. You can see R stands for arginine, Y stands for, y stands for tyrosine, K stands for lysine, like this. So here now we are submitting a protein sequence as the query sequence and our database sequence is a nucleotide database. You now perform BLAST, then see the result. Remember, we took only a small portion of the protein sequence, not the entire one. We only took this portion, okay? So let's see the result. It's taking some time. In the meantime, I'll show you how to perform some other alignments. So, you can perform cluster from EBI website, EMBL EBI. You can perform multiple sequence alignment, which is available online. You can download this software also. Clustel W is not available nowadays. Clustel Omega is available. So we can take multiple protein sequences or multiple uh, sequences here and you can perform alignment for DNA sequence also you can perform. So when we perform alignment between two sequences it is called pairwise sequence alignment. And when we perform alignment between among more than two sequences, it is called the multiple sequence alignment. So, like suppose dendrobium RBCL. It's dendrobium is the name of an orchid, dendrobium genus. So, we can randomly download some uh, dendrobium 
sequences okay okay i'll select some other sequences i'll select some dendrobium sequences like dendrobium pulchellum dendrobium moniliformi dendrobium nobile dendrobium pimbriatum like this and dendrobium officinalis suppose and we can download all these dendrobium rbcl gene sequences after selecting these check boxes you can download it from this send to option send to file and select format as fasta format and click create file so one file will be downloaded okay this file is downloaded i can open this using wordpad or notepad okay this these are dendrobium rbcl gene sequences different dendrobium species so i can select all these sequences and i can perform multiple sequence alignment see this is one dendrobium sequence this is another dendrobium sequence dendrobium pimbriatum then dendrobium nobile like this so you can perform multiple sequence alignment in this way so it will take some time let's wait so you can see this is the multiple sequence alignment here all this dendrobium among all dendrobium species most were similar but here we can see there is no asterisk sign here there is a gap because here it is c but in rest of the species it is a so it is a substitution mutation a to c again one transversion mutation here also you can see one gap there is no asterisk here and you can see in other species it is t and here it is c t c both are pyrimidines again transition so in this way we can perform multiple sequence alignment also in blast we perform pair wise sequence alignment okay so let's see the blast result if it has come so this is the blast result we submitted one protein sequence unnamed protein product okay then we performed t blast n then it showed similarity with oryza sativa this dna sequence okay so how this got uh, means how it was alignment was done you can see okay so that protein sequence was compared was uh, that uh, from database sequence also it was virtually translated then it was compared okay so we got similarity with this so it is from gene bank database it is because it is gene okay so in this way we can perform blast i have showed you how to perform multiple sequence alignment using clustel omega online you can perform it so with this i'd like to conclude today because our msc practical exams are going on and uh, today i could not give much time to uh, examination so i'd like to conclude here and in the whatsapp group i'll share some of the assignments which you can practice at your home and you can verify it online also like there are some smith waterman algorithm calculator is available like suppose you can perform it online as well as you can perform it uh first you can practice it in your uh notebook 
like suppose a t g c t g t c t a and suppose k t g t g c a and suppose uh, match code is suppose plus 2 mismatch is suppose minus 1 and linear gap cost is suppose minus 2 so in this way you can perform alignment okay and the result will be like this you can practice it in your note notebook and you can compare whether your alignment is correct or not you can check this online like this similarly speed water mean also you can click here and you will get the values so this is available here optical pair wise sequence alignment you can simply google it here you can check it online i'll give you some sequences which you can practice at your home so with this i'd like to conclude so if you have anything to ask you can ask thank you thank you so much sir for your informative session and give us your uh, valuable time from your busy schedule i uh, we have learned a lot and i think our participant have learned a lot from the session now the session is open for query anyone can ask any query or they can write their query in the chat box thank you if anybody wants to ask any question sir i think there are no question so now i request uh, miss malika borua to uh, end this program with a formal vote of thanks to miss malika borua